Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episode 4 of season 2 of Magic Up Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So now that the girlfriends are officially back together, what the heck is going to happen next? Mm-hmm. No. Okay, but now the question is how in the world they're not even clean that much. How are you supposed to get out? From Ui? So then that, okay, if it's the full, well, okay, will Crow I be considered one though? Okay, that's a little bit better. Because you would think it would be these four, but that's five girls right there, so... Hmm. Like, maybe it's Aroha, Yachido, Ui, and Madoka, maybe? I mean, because last week's episode ended with Madoka, like, looking like she was about to do something. So, I'm guessing we're probably going to see that in today's episode. I'm not 100% sure. That is, like, too bright on my face. Mm. It's a little bit better, kind of. Not really. Or it could be, yeah, those three and Madoka. Jesus Christ, how should you go? Yeah, but because of the fact that she's been missing you, of course she's been depressed. Yeah. 
Okay, do you possibly know someone else who does know? Nah, it's gonna be those four. No. Just make a figure at Tolka, please. He's so freaking pretty and I want that card. Hell, it don't, it don't even got to be a figure that's $100. It can be one of them cute prize figures for 25 bucks. Let's hope nothing bad happens, though. Like, something tells me they're probably going to run into Mommy. It wouldn't surprise me. Because she's a part of that cult. Wait, wait, wait. We just want to talk first. Exactly, we don't. But Jesus. It's like, what's her face was removed? <laughs> I'm going to be serious. How she never cleaned it and was books everywhere. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah, you could have joined Iroha. I mean, who knows? You, you don't know unless you try.
That's okay. At least you'll find out together. Oh. Where's Kaede and everyone else? Hey, there is no time to talk to everybody like that. If they don't want to listen, they don't want to listen. Now see, but the question is, are they following you to kill you? Because, I mean, maybe we should separate. You know, she is, but, you know, just under the influence, that's all. Hmm? Look like veins. Oh? The fuck? Exactly. Wouldn't you? I mean, like, damn! Oh. Honestly, I thought that was the creature that killed Mommy in the original series, but no, I had to do like a double take. No, don't use it. Yeah. 
You don't always need to use it. So we gotta kill Kyanna, right? I mean, she present as fuck. Don't get me wrong, but you know, um, uh. Oh, damn, that is scary as fuck. Really more of creepy than scary, but you know what? I like it. Uh, I do remember that. So you have to kill her. Aroha, you say that, but the next thing you know, this child might die, even though I don't want her to die. Elena? Oh no, I love to. Something tells me that Elena is like gonna appear until like episode eight, maybe. How long is she going to have to stay here, though? So you take them to an isolation ward so they can calm down? Yeah, but you ain't said what the side effects was. Oh, was that that one girl who had the scissors as the weapon? Damn. I don't know who, who the girl was before her, but the, yeah, that is her. Oh, damn.
Of course she is. You think if you're if we go inside their dreams, we could possibly let them out and maybe get them back to normal? She looks so bored. She's just like done. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting her to make an appearance today. Oh, <laughs> but something tells me she ain't going to the speaking role until next week. But okay, in a way, Maggie, Maggie is ain't shit now because you're expecting, you know, this group, this quote unquote cult, to save these magical girls. But at the same time, the, the farming, the witches, girl, mm mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It, it's almost in a way no matter what you're not safe to anything joining th this group or even being with friends you are still screwed no matter what and it sucks there there's possibly not even gonna be no fucking happy ending for the end of this season going on to season two maybe but i thought kaede was gonna be okay i was assuming that kaede would have been okay for this whole episode and then episode five would have been the week she would have turned into her doppel slash witch because she used her doppel too much. Oh, I miss the girls are being shown stuff and I'm gonna cry. But no. So for right now, we just gonna say rip Kaede. Did not expect the girl with the weapon who has the giant scissors was gonna be in there. Or um, whoever the girl was before her because I, I do know who she is. I just don't remember her name. But it makes you wonder with the the witches who, are, who currently are in the witches farm and the girls who are in the isolation farm who else is currently you know in that situation and will they ever be able to be back to normal again just like as Roll has said because i was sitting there thinking it too is it a possibility that we can go into their dreams figure out the problem and then officially turn them back into a regular old magical girl like nothing but the biggest thing that i'm also wondering is it a pot like let's say we're able to do that is it a possibility that this is going to happen again because you know how like with certain things you think oh hey you know one and done this ain't gonna come back no matter what but with this series sometimes it, when it comes back it's two times as worse than it was the first time and so it might possibly really hurt any one of these girls who are currently either in the isolation ward or currently in the the witch farming area as like anything it's, this is a damned if you do damned if you don't situation oh my god and, and then like huh. <laughs> i can't something also tells me that iroha yachiro and we can we can put rena in it as well and now, um, and Kuroi, they're going to meet up with Madoka, Homare, and Sayaka. 
don't know when, but something tells me they're going to meet up. And then hopefully we get to see the conclusion on what the heck happened with Yachiro. Because, of course, she she's strong enough, so she's able to handle those two sisters. It's just, we need to know by next week she needs to ca- uh, catch up with Iroha. Because we just got these two back together. Just got these two back together. And now we separated them again. And I don't like it when they're separated because it's just... It feels like another part of themselves is missing, aka even though, yes, because a lot of people do ship these two, including myself, it just feels so weird. It's kind of like, okay, you know in the final season of Sailor Moon, and um, Neptune and Uranus, like, were separated, and I think uh, Uranus was with Mercury, and I don't remember who Neptune was with, and... Uranus was running like extremely faster than freaking Mercury and so she's always seen Neptune not only as her girlfriend and everything but as someone who's always kept up with her so having someone trailing behind her feels also weird and off to her and that's kind of what it looks like with um Iroha and Kuroi. I mean, because, like, yes, they're two best friends. They're really good friends, even though, like, uh, it's like this with me sometimes with them. Um, But they did work good as a team in this episode, and I love that. But at the same time, when it is Iroha and Yachiro, that teamwork, that partnership, that relationship is a thousand times better. And I'm not going to say that's not a, um, the the Kuroi, Iroha is bad. It's just right now, I think it needs a little bit more, because I, I get the fact it's like, Kuroi is the type of girl who's like, just because she was almost about to turn into a doppel today, she is like, if it's absolutely 100% necessary, if this kills me, I'm going to use it no matter what. Iroha is the type of girl who's like, okay, no, I don't want you to use this because you're my friend and I care for you and I want to support you and I'm telling you, don't use this as your ticket out because it's not going to help. But really, who knows how the fuck is this is going to really conclude and end and such. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode four of Magic Over Quota season two. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.